Welcome to our exploration of why the United States hasn't fully embraced the metric system, despite it being the preferred system of measurement since 1975. The global standard we're discussing has a rich history and faces contemporary challenges. The metric system, seemingly a straightforward solution, right? Wrong, at least for the United States. Despite its global dominance, America remains stubbornly attached to its traditional measurements. Today, we'll delve into the complexities and challenges that prevent a full-fledged metric embrace. Join us as we uncover the historical origins, cultural factors, economic implications, and ongoing debates surrounding America's unique stance on measurement standards. Origins of the Metric System The Metric System, or SI, the international system of units, traces its roots back to the chaos of pre-revolutionary France. In the late 18th century, amidst the French Revolution, scientists sought to unify the country's myriad measurements. The French Academy of Sciences proposed a revolutionary idea, a system based on a universal constant, the meter, defined as one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator, measured through Paris. Slow adoption and international recognition, initially embraced by the French state for its scientific utility, the metric system faced challenges in gaining widespread public acceptance. Despite its international recognition, including acknowledgement by the United States in 1866 when it legalized metric use in commerce, the transition from customary units remained voluntary and slow. The Treaty of the Meter in 1875 marked a significant international effort to establish uniform standards, with nations like the U.S. joining to promote global coherence in measurements. Evolution into the International System of Units SI. By the mid-20th century, the metric system had evolved into the International System of Units SI, encompassing a comprehensive range of physical quantities and their measurement standards. Defined in 1960, SI units provided a unified framework for scientific research and industrial applications worldwide, from nanotechnology to space exploration. Despite its global acceptance, the U.S. continued to navigate a dual-system approach, where metric units coexisted alongside customary units in various sectors. Cultural and Economic Factors the United States stands apart from the majority of nations by maintaining a predominant use of customary units, a legacy rooted in historical practices and cultural preferences. Unlike countries where metrication was mandated by law, such as Canada or Australia, America's approach has been characterized by voluntary adoption, driven by market forces and practical considerations. Cultural factors play a significant role in shaping attitudes towards measurement standards. Generations of Americans have grown accustomed to using feet and inches for height, yards for distance, and pounds for weight. These units are deeply embedded in everyday language and popular culture, reinforcing their familiarity and perceived convenience. Challenges in metrication Efforts to promote metrication in the U.S. have encountered various challenges, including educational barriers, resistance from traditionalist quarters, and the costs associated with transitioning infrastructure and manufacturing processes. While industries reliant on international trade and scientific research increasingly use metric units to align with global standards, broader societal adoption remains a gradual process. Educational initiatives have aimed to integrate metric education into school curricula, emphasizing its advantages in simplifying calculations and facilitating communication across borders. However, the uneven implementation across states and educational systems has resulted in a varied level of metric literacy among the American population. Benefits of the metric system. Proponents of the metric system advocate for its simplicity coherence and compatibility with global standards. Unlike the imperial system, which features disparate and sometimes arbitrary units, SI units provide a logical and scalable framework for measurements across scientific disciplines and industrial applications. From pharmaceuticals to aerospace engineering, the use of metric units enhances precision, 
promotes efficiency, and reduces errors in measurement. Standardization under SI units supports international trade by eliminating the need for costly conversions and ensuring consistency in product specifications and regulatory compliance. Future Perspectives As we've explored, the metric system's journey in the United States reflects a complex interplay of history, policy, and cultural norms. While officially endorsed for decades, its integration into everyday life remains a gradual process, influenced by a variety of societal factors. Whether the U.S. will eventually fully embrace metric units or maintain its dual-system approach will likely continue to evolve alongside broader societal changes and global influences. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the reasons behind America's unique stance on measurement standards. The debate over metric versus customary units continues to shape discussions in education, industry, and policy. Stay tuned with the States Untold for more insights and discussions on topics shaping our world today.